Hi everybody, how's everybody doing today? I hope well. <laughs> um, yeah, so today, <laughs> well, first of all, let me welcome everybody. Welcome, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. If you are um, a returning viewer, thank you very much very much for coming back. I enjoy seeing all of you, um, your comments and stuff, and, and I'm seeing repeat uh, conversation lists. So I really love that. So thank you very much for returning to my channel. I love it so much. And I'm going to take this minute. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so today we're doing a kidding up of uh, spring. Um, the Amazon four pack that I got, uh, which is flowers, basically, um, they're 30 by thirties and they have, they all have like, um, a white background and then they have, um, a flower, <clears throat> excuse me, in the middle and they will look fantastic once they're all done and grouped together on a wall. So I hope you enjoy this. This is the kidding up for the third one. But before I show you that third one, I want to show you the completion of the second one. So this was the purple ones. And I, I said down below on my kidding up, if you know what kind of flower this is, please tell me because I don't know what kind of flower it is. But it turned out amazing. So did the first one. It looks really good. I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see the detail on the flowers. So you can see here, um, got quite a bit of confetti in those flowers, but it really turned out very well, very, um, very pretty. I'm going to zoom back out for you. Maybe not as far as I was initially when I started, but I think it turned out great. I really do. Um, I think that the image is uh, simple enough to lend itself well for a 30 by 30 and I really, really like the color choices on this. I love the gold of the, the tulips, which was the first one. And whatever kind of flower this is, I really, really like it as well. Um, I didn't have much problems with this. Um, the whole background is 3865. Um, you know, so what I, what I've been doing is I've been working the entire, um, background, the, the entire 3865 first, and then going back and filling in with the colors. And I really like it. I, I actually really like the, the pops of red in here. You've got a nice, um, pop of red in those and um, I really think that that's, that's, it catches my eye, you know what I mean? So I really like it a lot. And yeah, 20 colors, 30 by 30. Um, like I said, this is a four pack from Amazon. The link will be down below. And I really like it. So let's go and start kidding up the next one. And like I did on this one, my kidding up is a little bit different. I'm kidding up into bags. Um, that way it's easier for me to just put it away when I'm done. Um, I've, I've already got the bags labeled. I'm going to set this aside. I've already got the bags labeled here. I can show you. Um, some of them you'll see that there's drills in it because if they match the colors in this, I'm just going to mix them all together. So I just pulled these out from my drawer. Some of bags don't have colors in them. Some of them do. So we're going to try and color match today. The only one that I, I might have an issue with is this one here, 3801. Um, I'm not sure if you can tell. I'll zoom in. But I've got two shades here. So the one on my left is a little bit darker than the one on my right. So we're going to see, I don't know if you can really tell, but we're going to see which one it, it matches better. And then I'll just add it to this bag. That way I am all set to go when I'm done completing this painting. They just go in my drawer system. And, um, if I remember, I'll try to I'll try to um, show you a picture of my drawer system because 
Um, the only time that you guys really saw it was when I first bought it, which was in my accessories video. You'll see it, but it's so big that it, I really couldn't show it all. So if I will do my best to take a picture of it. And all I do is I have um, everything numbered. It has, excuse me, it has 64 drawers in it. So it doesn't house everything completely the way I like it. So I might buy another one, but it's got 64 drawers in it. And what I do is I have the drawers separated um, to where I have six or seven colors in one drawer um, with the exception of the last drawer. The last drawer has multiple colors in it, but um, they're all fitting in there for now, so I'm not too worried about it. If I need to switch it and redo this and have eight colors in, in a drawer or something, that's fine, not a big deal. But um, I'm thinking about getting another drawer um, thing. So um, if I remember, you should have had a picture of it flash on the screen, by now, if not, sorry. <laughs> but so I just have it labeled. I have all my drawers labeled um, one through 64. And then in here, the, these index cards show me what's in that drawer. So if I'm looking for, um, I don't know, 3864, I would just find my 38. Let's we go all the way back here. I would find my it's probably in the last one, isn't it? If there is a 3864, there probably isn't even eight. Yeah, there is, but it's in my um, number 64 bin. If I'm looking for, say, 310, then I would go and I would just open this up to here, and I would know my 310 is in my bin number five. Um, so. That's how I know. And I've thought about this, about putting actual drills on here so that I can color match, but I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do that. So um, this, these um, little um, cards, they're just index cards, and but the, um, the grid here, this uh, chart, um, I got from Joan Diamond Paints. So you could go to her channel, watch one of her videos in the description of every video that she has. She has a link to her, um, uh, I guess it's a folder. It was, she was calling it her Google, her like Google Drive, you know, shared Google Drive, but I think she calls it something different now. And she's got printable sheets um, that are free that anybody you know anybody who watches her channel can go and use and so all I did was I downloaded it I edited it edited it to fit my needs and then made these index cards and then I don't have anything on the back of the index cards I figured that I used the writing on the back in case I wanted to add any notes or anything like that but yeah so that's my system it's kind of simple um, maybe a little, maybe a little convoluted, but I find looking at the index cards to find exactly where my, um, where my colors are is for me is, um, a lot more, uh, relaxed than just looking through a box, right? Um, for me, it's, it, it just makes more sense for me to do it that way. So outside of that let's get on i know you want to see the painting that we're gonna kit up today so here it is number three in the spring um flowers that i got so it's not even called flower spring flowers i just named it spring because that's when all flowers bloom i think it's just a flower four pack but the link will be down below <clears throat> so we're going to do this one and looking at the shape of this could be a carnation it could be something else um, but you know if if you think it's something else let me know down below but this one's nice because it's got a lot of leaves so we've got a lot of green going on in this one which is nice not as much background and um, nice beautiful big flower 
So, and then after this one, we just have one more to go for spring. And spring is over what? Um, June 22nd, 21st, something like that. So I'm hoping to get this done this week. And then you'll see um, next week, you'll see the kitting up of the last one, which would be awesome because I want all four of them up on my wall. <laughs> Um, so this is 20 colors. Uh, it's a 30 by 30 and the drill field is really nice. I can zoom in for you so you can see the drill field. Um, I haven't had any problems with the drill field, the drill field on these. Sorry, I was looking up and, um, they're pretty clear. Um, being round drills, you know, spacing isn't really an issue. Um, only when you're doing the background because you will see, you know, gapping um, if you're not careful. But me, I single place. So I, I really, I have tried to multi-place um, and I just, I don't like it. So that's probably why it takes me longer than most to get uh, canvases done because I single place everything. I just prefer it. And with squares, I use tweezers. I prefer it. It's easier for me um, to keep them straight. And that's the way I learned. I learned with tweezers. So um, I, I just enjoy single placing. So rounds, I use my pens. I have a new pen coming from Miss Creations by Danny. Um, and if you don't know what I'm talking about, I have these two pens here. Um, both of these came from uh, Miss Creations by Danny. That's the name of the Etsy store and Danielle is very sweet and um, she uh, I, I just bought a new pen from her but it hasn't come in yet so when that comes in I will show you it but I love these. She takes um, one of the generic pens that comes in your kits and she uses polymer clay and designs the whole outside of the pen and finishes them and they're just they're just amazing and they're light and they're comfortable and they're shorter they're only five inches so they're like the length of my hand so they're not top heavy and they're amazing <laughs> I can't say how much I love these pens but when my third one comes in I will show you it so kind of went off a little bit on that one <laughs> off the rails a little bit on that one. So we're going to get the drills out here and I do have the right ones. Yes. And again, I said I have my bags um, that I, I started that is going to allow me to put these back um, way easier than the other ones. Why is this stuck in here? <laughs> I wanted to just pull it out, but it, it's like stuck in here for some reason. There we go. Got it now. I'm not going to keep that bag. That was just a, a placeholder for now. So we've got um, these beautiful drills. And I don't know about you guys, but I really don't have any issues from any place on Amazon that I've gotten them. I know there's in each individual like shops on Amazon, just like on AliExpress, and um, everyone that I've gotten drills from or kits from, no real issues. They've all been pretty good. Maybe it's the ones that I'm picking. I I don't know, but they're all they're all pretty good. So we're gonna kit these up in bags. So I have my bags right here. So we're going to start with number one. And I'm going to show you the drills as I do them. And I might want to have something to prop. I don't know if I need something to prop, but I was thinking to prop my bags up, but I don't probably I probably don't need it. So this here, if you can see it is 151 a beautiful pink here I've got my little baggie and I'm gonna put this in and I have um, little baskets that I keep these in 
but for now I'll probably just keep them in a Ziploc. So this is what it looks like when I'm working from it. It's just one of these little bags and I just pour it in my tray and work with it. Right? So I'm going to sit that there like so. So the next color is 304 and as you can see I have some from my stash so I'm going to check this out. I'm not going to completely open the bag yet until I know for sure if this is the same color. So I'm going to look at this under my light and I don't know if you can see this but it's a completely different color. Completely different. So I know that um, I'm not going to use this red that was in my stash. I'm going to use this one here. So, um, yeah, this one's like a, a, a burnt, like a brick red. So I'm going to sit this 304 aside, and I'm going to sit this one aside because I need to get my stickers out. I have a an entire bag full of these round stickers. That's another reason why I'm doing this because I want to make sure that um, I want to use all my stickers because when I bought them, I asked, I ordered one pack and they sent me five and I looked back and I think it was for a five pack and I was just not paying attention when I bought it, which is fine, not a big deal. So what did I say this is? This is number 304, color 304. So I have to find a sticker, 304. I have a couple of sheets here that I didn't, that I used the stickers already, probably because I have them in squares as well. So. And I don't have the square stickers. I just have the round stickers because I know they make these in squares now. So now I can open this and we can put this in here. Oh, I should have opened the bag first. See, this is why I was thinking that I needed something to prop the bag up with. Because <laughs> if I don't open the bag first, then I gotta hold the cut bag. <clears throat> and you might be able to see the difference now that I have it like that. There's a huge difference in those colors. So that will go back in my in my bin and I will use that one. And let's see. Okay, so I'll keep my stickers over here. My bags are right over there. All right, so next color is 310. Now we all know 310, <clears throat> I don't think there's ever been a real variation in 310. If there has been, and you've seen it, like, like where it's maybe on the little more gray side, let me know because I, I haven't seen a variation on it as of yet, but I could be wrong. And I have tons of 310, as everybody knows. Uh, everybody who diamond paints probably has as well, but there's your 310. What am I doing? Putting this like this. I'm getting there. Okay, next color is a 349, and I don't have this color, so we're going to open this bad boy up. And I'll show it to you. I think it's better if I get it in the bag and then I, I can show you the color. So I will show it to you in just one minute. It's a pretty, like, orange color. Pretty orange. Okay. Next is 613, and I had some of this. Let's see if this matches before I open the bag up. And I think it matches close enough. 
it might be a little, my stash might be a little bit lighter, but I don't think it's much lighter. I think it, I think it might be right. <coughs> Let's see. Let me get out another bag. And I'll cut it and put it in here and we'll see if it's the same color. But I think it is. I think it's close enough that, um, so what, what number is this? What letter? This is Y. So there are some clusters of it. So if it is too much of a shade difference, I don't want to mix it because then it'll look like poop on my, on my, um, canvas. I really think, I mean, this one in my stash might be a little lighter, but I really don't think that that's going to be a big deal at all. Yeah, I think it's okay. So we're going to use that. Put this all together. <clears throat> Did I ask you guys how you were doing? I hope you're doing well. Um, you guys have been very, very nice in um, leaving me comments and conversate and having conversations with me. I love it so much. And some of you guys told me what you're working on, and I love that, and I can't wait. I hope you guys send me pictures. I mean, I think you'll have to send it to my email. I don't think you can send it in links on that, but I would love to see it. So, yeah, I think this is close enough that I'm not seeing too much of a variation in that. So we should be good. Okay. And then we're going with the next color is 640. And I think, oh, that is a different color. That really looks like a different color. So we're going to use this empty bag here and open this up. I really think this is a different color, but we'll look when it's in the bag. Because I do know that the, the shade of the bag, the clearness of the bag, makes a difference. So, yeah. Uh, maybe not. It's a little lighter. So, can you tell? It's a little lighter. Yeah, so I'm going to put my 640 back. I'm going to grab a label for this one, 640. Here. And we'll use the one that came with the kit. Okay. And then we've got 642. That looks darker than the one that I have. And it's like one of those things where you can't really tell if who's right and who's wrong, right? You know, because you get, especially if you get them from the same manufacturer and, and they are different shades. I know that each lot, um, the dye could be slightly different. So there are each each lot can be different, but it's like, sometimes it's, it's so slight that you can't, it's hard to tell until you mix them all together. And then you're like, Oh, that is a completely different color. <laughs> and I think that this one is darker than the one that's in my bag. It's hard to tell. Maybe not. might be the same color let's try it let's mix it together and if it if it is it is and if it isn't then oh well this one is the question mark so there is a little bit of blocking of this color so 
If I have to pick it out in the in the tray, I will. But um, yeah, it's a little darker, but not much. Kind of like that other one that we had, where it's not that big of a deal. I think it'll be fine. Okay. So our next color is 644. Um, that looks like it's the same color. Yeah, I think that's the same color. So we're going to mix this together. And again, I'm doing this because it's, it's easier to just put it away. I mean, when I kit it down for... Um, the last painting I literally just went through and said okay well what colors am I using on this next one and it was the 310 and the 52 uh, the 3865 that were the same so I left those out and put the other ones away and got out the ones that I had for this yep see these bags hold quite a bit I like them they're a good size um, so I think they're I think they're cute. <laughs> now this one is not in that same kind of bag, but it already had a sticker on it and I can't take the sticker off, so it's staying in this bag. So this is 814. And I it is not the same color. It is not the same color. So I'll show you. I will show you what I mean. Not the same color. Mm, get out of my bag. There we go. So, as you can see, the one in my stash is more red. At least I hope you could see. One of my stash is more red, and the one in that I just opened up is more brown, more brown color. Can you see? Maybe. <laughs> so that will go back in my stash. And this, I need a label for 814. 814. Eight fourteen. Oh, all right. Next one, eight ninety two, which I do not have. So this, I am going to put this right in the bag. It's kind of like a coral orange. It's really pretty. It's going to be nice because the flower on the canvas is red, but it's using orange and red for the drills. So that's going to be a really colorful, see, coral orange there. Move these out of the way. Um, 962, which I don't have any colors of, any drills of. Kind of a uh, sandy peach or a sandy pink, I should say. putting all my drills at the top there. <laughs> so our next color is 3033. Mm, that looks like the same color. I was going to say, did I not open the bag all the way? But it was just, it was crimped. 
so. Very pretty color there. Next one is a 3326. Um, I think they're close enough. I think the colors are close enough. I have a little bit of a headache, guys, but I'm doing okay. I think it's because I haven't had much coffee yet today. I'm on my... I have I have a cup here, but I think it's because I don't have... I haven't drank it yet. Um, yeah, I think that, that works. Sometimes it's hard to see... Um, I have two lights, I have, so I have a light coming from this side, and then I have a light coming from this side. I don't have my overhead light on because I didn't want you guys to see so much glare. Excuse me, got a drink of my coffee. Um, I didn't want you guys to see so much glare, and I, I do brighten it up in editing, um, but taking that overhead light off really allows me to not um, give you guys a lot of glare. So our next color here is 3364, and I don't have any of that. It's a very pretty green color. Very pretty green. Okay. 3713. I don't have any of that. It's kind of like a pale peach or a pale pink. Thirty-seven eighty-two. I don't have any of that. That's another thing about doing these four packs. I love doing them because I get a whole bunch of colors that I wouldn't normally get. And every time I get new colors, I'm like, oh, okay, now I can do this. Like I have, I have a couple of patterns in my head that I want to freestyle, and um, but I'm trying to figure out what color palette I want to use. So. It's a beautiful, like, brownish khaki green there. Let's scoot these over some more. There we go. 3787, I don't have any of that, so we're going to go ahead and put that in here. Is there one stuck up there? There we go, that's better. Okay. And there's probably an easier way of me doing this, but this is the way I'm doing it, so. <laughs> okay. It's a really pretty green there. It's kind of like, um, it's not a bright green. It's a it's a dark green, like kind of like um, green with a little bit of mud thrown in it. It's really pretty. All right, so here's my two different shades of 3801. Let's see which one this one matches. So we're gonna cut this off and we're gonna look at it. Let's see which one this matches. So it matches, it matches the darker one. This one's the lighter one. I'm just gonna set that aside. That'll go back in my bin. I'm gonna open this up. These bags are tiny. Like, 
you know, if you guys thought my other bags are tiny, these things are, are little. <laughs> very, very tiny. I was kind of afraid to sit it down because I thought that maybe it, it would close on me. That's a pretty good match for that one. Okay. And then we've got 3832 over here. Hold on, let me get these out of my way. a little one yeah a little speck that dropped there got it 3832 and then our last one is our 3865 and I'm not gonna I don't think that this little bag will fit in here plus I've got two more bags of it here for that background so what I think I'm gonna do is just sit on the side and then open them as I need them because I already have this much here. So I will open them as I need them. Or what I did last time was I had this bag on the side. I opened this, put it all in my tray, use what I need, and then get the extra in there is basically what I did. So let me set these aside and put my stickers away, kind of. I'm not going to do it completely away, just out of my way. And I will put it away later so that I'm not bothering you guys. But so out of all of those, we had four colors that did not shade match, which I think is pretty good because you saw that I had, I had quite a few of the colors already in my stash. So to only have four of them not color match, I think that's pretty good. And I'll put those away in a minute. But here is... Here's our picture. I'm trying to leave these like this so that I can use it for my thumbnail. Because you know me and my thumbnails. You know I like them. So there is our picture. Zoom out for you. Our picture that we are that we kitted up today. And all of the beautiful colors on top. And to remind you. This was our completed picture, which I'm going to cut out and frame and put on the wall with my other one. So I'll have all four of them up on the wall when I'm done, hopefully by the end of spring, which I think, like I said, is June 21st or 22nd. So I will have all four of them complete by then and on my wall. And that's all I have for you guys today. I spent a lot of time talking, I guess, or a lot of time dealing with those colors. Thank you all very much for being here with me through that. <laughs> and my headache will go away. I'll be better next on the next video, right? <laughs> so once again, if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. It really helps me out. I really appreciate it. Leave a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Usually within a week, I try to get back to everybody. And um, yeah, hit that like button, uh, hit the notification bell, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.